My channel of course my name is Portia and if you are new here you know the YouTube routine go ahead and hit that subscribe button but yes welcome back to my channel and as y'all can tell hitting y'all with another travel vlog and this time we are in El Salvador this is my first time visiting El Salvador and it is gonna be a birthday trip I'm traveling with my dad this is gonna be a very quick trip really in and out which I wanted so it's totally fine with me um today is thursday we leave out overnight on sunday so um due to like the distance between like some of the tourist attractions here in el salvador we're not going to be able to do like all of the hot things or whatnot but you know it's totally fine it's okay um we can always revisit but yeah here in el salvador for my birthday trip and we kicked out the vlog y'all saw me arriving to el salvador and our personal driver that we booked for the weekend he stopped us at this 24 7 pupusa spot and a pupusa is pretty much kind of like a local common traditional dish food item here in el salvador that if you come you must try i had the cheese and shrimp and a cheese and chicken pupusa i think the cheese and chicken pupusa was 10 times better than the shrimp one so that's what y'all saw us doing and he was just telling us like how you eat it and how you can make some cabbage and some extra sauce with it or whatnot so we did that stopped at the 24 7 pupusa spot and now we are here at the hotel we're staying in San Salvador at Hotel Del Villa um, this for like Thursday through Sunday was under $300 which isn't bad very super affordable it's kind of like a boutique mom and pop um, type of hotel but you know it's totally fine for me because since we're not staying a long time I decided not to do an all-inclusive resort so yeah just gonna go ahead and show y'all like a quick tour of the room and the hotel Can I slide with you? Spend the night with you? Just let me write in the future for my attention. Feel like your 
body is by mind. We let the squad hang. It's only time with us. You know I buy. So yes, that was like a quick overview of the hotel. I will link it down below in the description box just in case you are interested in staying here. But yeah, um today is Thursday. It's Thursday night. Um since it's like a travel day, we're not gonna really do too much tonight, but we are gonna go ahead and do a little sippy sip because what's a birthday trip without some little sippy sip and also too we were trying some of the local beer at the pupusa spot as well but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and take some shots make sure y'all thumbs up drop some comment share subscribe all the good stuff and let's go ahead and get into this el salvador birthday trip vlog shot number one let's go All right, so good morning, y'all. It's Friday morning here in El Salvador, and we're gonna go ahead and get our day started. We're going to like this excursion activity park area called Cafe Albania. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. So yeah, that's what we're doing top of the morning here Friday. So let's go. So we arrived to Cafe Albania and we're about to do some of the activities out here in the um, park. So gonna take y'all along for that. But yes, we've arrived here at Cafe Albania and we're gonna go ahead and buy our tickets for the different activities we wanna do out here. Ready for adventure, about to do the surfboard zip line. Putting on the safety gear now. Kind of nervous, but yes, I'm about to do the bike zip line.
say I made it. <laughs> Everybody and so the butterfly swing, it was cool. It wasn't like too fast or whatnot. But the surfboard zip line, that wasn't too scary. That was fine. But the bike zip line, let me tell you. I thought the bike was going to come off the cable. The girl was nervous. Auntie was nervous, but that was a good experience. Um, I, was, I was definitely scared of air during the bike zip line. And now the rainbow slide, it was two of them. It was a smaller one first, and then it was a larger one second. I felt like the smaller one, the first one we went on, I felt like that one was actually scarier than the second one. Now the rainbow slide, you know, you're probably thinking like, oh, it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. It got a little power to it, a because, little uh, adrenaline, a little thrill. I definitely feel like when you come down the hump, I felt like I was going to fly out the um, yeah, tube, <gasps> but I didn't. But uh, yeah, so the adventure park, I think that it was a real good experience. Of course, I didn't do the big swing. They call it the big swing. It kind of reminds you of like a bungee. Like, some states make you have, but yeah, my dad did that. That's I was letting him do that by himself because your girl was not fooling with that. Um, and I didn't do the regular zip line either because I already did that when I went to Mexico before, so I didn't really want to do it again. But yeah, so the adventure park was cool. Like I said, we just left there, we're in the next town over. Um, about to get some lunch at this restaurant, but yes, I highly recommend you come to El Salvador to do um, Cafe Abanya. It was super fun. Portable. You can do like a $40 all-inclusive wristband there to do all the different activities or you could pay for them um, separately like I think the highest was like $10 which was pretty decent. I think the zip lines were like $10 and the rainbow slide and I think the butterfly swing was maybe like $3 or so. It wasn't that much but um, yeah I'll link it down below for you guys to check it out but Cafe Abanya I give it two thumbs up. If you ever come through El Salvador make sure you slide through there or whatnot and try that adventure park out. But yeah I'm gonna stop rambling right now. Yeah you got it. When the frozen drink don't come with alcohol, spike your own. 
so I come prepared. It's quiet out here, dude. A lot of people are moving, but it's quiet. Yeah. So that people come in and they really have a bad right. later um today has been a long day i gotta hold my light above my head so i can get some light but yes yeah, so back at the hotel and just a quick recap of today for friday friday morning we started around like nine in the morning we went to cafe abano that was the um excursion part where we did the different activities and after that we went over to um a taco that's a small town i feel like i'm saying this stuff wrong Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing it, but that's what we um, did some souvenir shopping and ate at a restaurant. And now we are back at the hotel for just like a little, you know, a little rest moment or whatever. But yes, um, it took us a long time to get back because the excursion park, that was like maybe roughly two hours away. And then traffic is actually very crazy out here. But yeah, that was a quick recap or whatnot of today, the earlier part of today, gonna probably rest for a little moment and get up and start pre-gaming because i do have plans to go out to a bar but yes yeah, just had to come in and update y'all about what's currently going on i look so stupid trying to hold this light above my head my arm stretched up and yeah this is also my outfit my little two-piece outfit i got from she in i actually tied it up but yeah gonna stop rambling or whatnot y'all like it yay nay but yes that's what um quick little quick recap of the day but yeah talk to y'all later all right, y'all, so quick outfit check real quick. I got this green one shoulder dress from Shein, and I just got some gold heels that I've been had for quite some time. This gold clutch from Shein, a Walmart Rolex as usual, and a little bracelet, as well as these earrings from Shein. And this is the birthday dress. My birthday is tomorrow, but I'm gonna go out and bring in my birthday at the club, so a bar, whatever it's called. But this is a quick little outfit check, green dress, giving vacation vibes or whatnot. Wanted something a little frilly, a little cute for my birthday. But yes, this is the birthday fit for this year. Green with the gold accessories. So let's go ahead and pregame a little bit, then we're gonna hit out. Fuck big bottles.
y'all good morning so it's top of the morning here it's saturday morning which means it's my birthday so happy birthday to me coming live and direct from el salvador i'm super excited to see what this next chapter of life holds for me and has in store for me blessed to see another year but yeah top of the morning right now waiting for some breakfast before i head out to my city tour and so just a quick recap of last night we went to this bar i think it's called circle it's a popular spot here um last night the music was more so like fist pumping vibes but you know it was cool um we also did like the open bar that was roughly like maybe 19 20 dollars of course you know the drinks they weren't the drinks weren't drinking like that you know it was kind of giving water down but it's cool um i didn't really get like too drunk because i had like over five drinks and i really wasn't feeling nothing so that's how i felt like yeah the drinks kind of watered down but like i said it's cool but um if interested if you ever visit el salvador definitely visit circle i think they have different theme nights and it's one of the popular spots here but yeah last night brought in my birthday great vibes of course i did the excursion park and all that yesterday and right now like i said waiting for some breakfast about to do the city tour in just a moment gonna take you guys along with me for my birthday here in el salvador and this is also like like my last um i guess you could say full day because i'm actually leaving out a little later on this evening but yeah let's go ahead and get this show on the road for my birthday so happy birthday to me and shout out to all of my fellow sagittarius the border as i mentioned not official border is the monument that we have it in front that's called the savior of the world now it's called the plaza de las americas americas plaza and the monument is dedicated to jesus christ so El Salvador is a very Christian country. The day that they built the monument, it was one of the biggest countries with a lot of Catholics. It was about 97% of the population. That was in the 1930s. And the monument, the monument, it was in the middle between the north, that's where the people of the owners of the coffee farms they were living in the south that's where we go that's where is the downtown mm -hmm. so now it's a very So in 1979, it was a group of rebels inside of the church and a group of militaries came into the main entrance, that's the main entrance, and they shot them. So as you can see, that's a bullet hole and also in the past, before 1979, that plastic was not here. They added the plastic after that event and the plastic is not bulletproof. The idea is that they cannot see from outside, that is people inside. They are buried here, that's the plate, they are buried here. And let me read for you, they say they are here to the one citizens that they were massacred October 29th, 1979. So that's one lie that said that they were on the streets of San Salvador, they were not on the streets, they were inside of the church. And they were part of the rebels, they were part of those type of groups. to the liberty, so the independence of the country. We call it Libertad Plaza, and that's exactly the place where 10 leaders of Central America, they came to El Salvador, and they started asking for a new country against the Spaniards, so they were fighting for 10 years. The flags that are here, those are the flags of Central America. From the left to the right, the first one is Costa Rica, the next one Honduras, in the middle of El Salvador, then Guatemala, and last one Nicaragua. So those are the five countries of Central America. The monument represents liberty. On top, that's the angel of liberty, that she's carrying two crowns. One represents Spain and the other one Central America, that now are separate. Under we have the date, November 5 of 1811, that's the first cry, so that's the first movement to be a free country. 
and then we have the representation of the Republic. The lady that represents justice and also represents the Central America Federation. So the capital was San Salvador, exactly where we are, that was the capital of the Central America Federation. So we were a single country between 1824 to 1848. And they were next tries to be a, a full country. But you know, it was a different because everyone wants the power. So the capital was in El Salvador, but Costa Rica wants the power. Guatemala wants power, Honduras too. So there were battles between the countries. The central bank was built in the 1930s. The idea was to have our own currency. The currency, the first one was pesos. Second currency was colones. Colones disappeared in 2001. That's the day, the year, sorry, that we added the US dollars. Now our official currency is US dollars and Bitcoin. It was finished the last renovation in 1911. The National Palace was created with the idea to have the Presidential House, Supreme Court, Parliament together. So the Presidential Office was also inside of the building. The idea was to keep the two powers of the state in the same place so they can have no debates, so they can have their own purposes. So outside we have the Queen Isabel, the one that paid the expedition for the Spaniards, and then at the right we have Christopher Columbus. On top, the Atlacat Indigenous, he represents the first warrior that he was fighting against the Spaniards in 1525. This is one of the most important churches for the reason they have to keep open every day in every hour. So the church is very traditional, like a cross does a long part, arm are left and right. So it's dedicated to Saint Romero, that's the image there. So the right, so he's the same of El Salvador and also the name of the airport is dedicated to here. Saint Oscar of North Romano Galdames. And at the left is the Virgin of the Peace. So he was also the second most important saint in our country. We are gonna get into the main altar. The saint in heaven. For the artist, he called the paint Love Your Enemy because he said that it was harder to love your enemy than love your friend. In the middle is the father in white and son in red in the Holy Ghost. In the middle, like a top, represents that union that you have. Also here, the main altar, the three angels represent the 30 years of Jesus when he started his minister. And in the background, we have four evangelists, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. That represents well, part of the things that they ripped at the, you know, during the Mass. Eight images at the back side represent the eight highlights of the life of Jesus. When you see the in that small chapel, it's called Divina Providencia. Exactly where it's the sniper, and when he passed away, it's 22 meters. So you can see there is blood everywhere because the whole of one destroys his heart. So all the blood comes out from his mouth, from his ear, from his eyes. They tried to move his body to a hospital because they, they tried to keep it alive, but he passed away in that moment. Those are some pictures of his funeral. His funeral was six days after that he passed away. It was at Gerardo Barrios Plaza, that's where we just went. In the world. He said the National Theater was built in 
y'all it's the birthday girl here but yeah so just got back to the hotel from the city tour the city tour lasted maybe about like two hours or so like maybe two to three hours but um i booked the tour online through via tour i'll link it down below i thought the tour was very informative you know it was quick it was great it was roughly like 40 us dollars so i don't think that was too bad um we walked around to the different areas as well as my tour guide gerald he took me to a marketplace area so i could do some additional shopping but yeah the tour was i felt like it was short sweet simple but also very great and then my tour guide gerald you know he was really personable like um he was willing to get your girl content for us so you know i appreciated that he was taking all the pictures getting all the angles yes but yeah i'll link that down below just in case you visit el salvador and you're interested in doing it i highly recommend the city tour plus they offer um that particular company i use they offer hotel pickup and drop off so that was great um as well as well as like my tour within the tour i got entry into like the cathedral and the other areas that you guys saw as well but yeah right now at the hotel um kind of like a little quick down moment and then in second i'm going to now we beach house now initially i was not going to go to now we beach house because i didn't think that i had enough time i thought like my day was going to be like you know from I guess like the distance between locations, I thought that I wouldn't have enough time to go. So that's what we're gonna do shortly, go to Nowi Beach House in just a moment. And then at the Nowi Beach House, we're gonna head to the airport and take our talents back on home. But yeah, that's what we're doing. In the, game. Um, in the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in the When I die, I put my money in the grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in their place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap this nigga on my face. CC, let it slap with the base. I used to save hoes with a mask and a cake. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money I done gave. I was on top when that shit meant a lot. Still on top, but I'm scared of the drop. Still on top, when these niggas wanna swap. Niggas wanna swap like the sauce in a watch. I don't wanna change, cause I'm good where I'm at. My tie, so I'm always good where I'm at. Word of Junior, Jazzy, Baby J. Tell them when I die, put my money in the Couple figures kill a skull, we collect. She fuck a nigga, then she on to the next. Really good. so it is a little after the beach house i'm back here at the hotel just freshen up pack my bags and i'm getting ready to head to the airport shortly so my time here in el salvador has come to an end it was short sweet simple very cute and i thoroughly enjoyed myself um added another stamp to my passport but yeah we went to the beach house which you guys saw earlier and we did like a couple um day pass for the beach house which is like from like maybe 8 a.m to 8 p.m even though we didn't go early in the morning we went a little bit later in the afternoon the couple beach pass a uh, well, couple day pass to the beach house is 35 dollars Keep in mind, I went with my dad, but because we could save $5 doing that option, that's what we did. But the individual day pass to the beach house is $20, and it covers your entry, a welcome drink, as well as horseback riding. Um, and let's see what else. I did get a little tipsy. Your auntie did get a little tipsy at the beach house because I brought in my own alcohol. They didn't check my bag, so I was filling up my own cup with my own 
particles or whatnot but yeah i enjoyed the beach house but just my takeaway from el salvador from my experience um i think you can explore and do a lot of things in a short amount of time because i felt like we did that we went to cafe abaya with the um activity park we did the city tour well i did the city tour because my dad slept in on me and we did now we beach house as well as um you know we went to a bar so i think you can explore el salvador in a short period of time but i say if you visit here please keep in mind that traffic can be a little crazy so give yourself maybe like two to three hours between destinations um let's see what else uh we did a personal driver but i do think that you could probably get away with doing uber or maybe even renting a car yourself and driving and coming out way cheaper when we did uber from like our hotel to the bar it was like maybe two dollars but then again we were like around the corner from the bar so that's a little different but i think you can still come out cheaper than doing a personal driver um, let's see what else about El Salvador. I said give yourself time because traffic could be crazy. Um, look into like doing Uber or renting a car instead of like a personal driver. Um, I think everything was super affordable. I feel like with a lot of the food, you get a good bang. You definitely get a large um, serving for the amount that you pay. Um, let's see what else. I think things here were pretty much affordable. I don't think everything or anything was like super expensive or anything of that nature. But um, yeah, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, my birthday trip to El Salvador. Make sure you try um, check out my other travel vlogs. I will link them down below. Travel with me to Dubai, Egypt, Greece, Jamaica, um, costa rica as well as panama i will link all of those down below in the description box and make sure you keep up with me on social media and also i will link my other vlogs down below in the description box as well but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you thumbs up drop some comments share subscribe all that good stuff y'all take it easy be safe until next time and y'all know what to do do a little drinky drink we about to head to the airport but who ain't finna sip some more purr